Welcome to the Apprenticeship Certificates England online video training. In this short introductory video, you'll learn how to get started with ACE. The other videos in this series will demonstrate using ACE and how to ensure you make successful claims and more importantly, help you to avoid common errors which result in claim rejections. All users logging into ACE require their own username and password. Contact your ACE super user if you don't have your own login details. Login should not be shared between users. After logging in, you can see the dashboard. From here, you can start using ACE to create and submit apprenticeship certification claims. The Certification Bodies tab gives you access to all the bodies that you work with to claim apprenticeship certificates. Each body has its own sectorial remit and is responsible for the certification of apprenticeships within their designated sectors. They are also referred to as Sector Skills Councils, or Sector Skills Bodies. Selecting the appropriate body takes you to a list of linked apprentice records. If you want to work with apprentice records linked with another body, then return to the dashboard and select the appropriate organisation name. Next to the Certifications tab is the Reports tab. The range of available reports is covered in more detail in the ACE reporting video. On the right of the screen is the Help Desk tab. Selecting this opens the online ACE Help Desk. This enables you to contact the Federation's ACE support team for advice, guidance and support. The Help Desk is internal to ACE and operates via a ticketing system. Each time you raise a new issue, a ticket is raised with its own unique reference number. ACE has its own internal messaging system, referred to as Notifications. These can be sent to you by either the Federation or a certification body. This link displays the number of unread notifications and clicking here takes you to the inbox. Notifications are important as they will include updates on evidence requirements, policy and procedural updates or general ACE operational issues. They can be read in ACE itself but usually a copy will be sent to your ACE registered email address. In the next video, we will show you how to correctly add an apprentice record to ACE.